11 continues. Well, it's time for today's Factor Fib Tuesday, where Alex and I try to guess the facts from the fibs of today's health news. Mm -hmm. So, as usual, we're going to make Alex go first. <laughs> so, Alex, new research shows it's highly beneficial for kids to get their tonsils out. Factor Fib. Mm, fact, right? Going to go with fact. Yeah. Let's see. That actually might be a fib. New British studies show most children who have their tonsils removed are unlikely to benefit from the procedure. Doctors tracking medical records of more than one and a half million children discovered only about 12% had enough sore throats to justify mm. the surgery. Pretty interesting. interesting. Okay, Avery, fact or fib, your sleep schedule can affect your risk for breast cancer. I'm going to go with yes. I've been doing a lot of reading on how your sleep schedule affects you, so I'm going to go with yes. Fact. Okay. It is a fact. Women who tend to be morning people have about a 40% lower breast cancer risk than women who are night owls. According to European researchers looking at international genetic data, scientists are also finding higher breast cancer risk in women who sleep longer than eight hours a night. Hey, good news for us who are up on Good Morning Lubbock and you all who wake yeah, up with morning us. morning people. Definitely might make you rethink that alarm, alarm clock time tomorrow. <laughs> Embrace it a little bit more. Yes. All right, last one, Factor Fib. Doctors say antibiotics need to be weaker for people to handle. Mm, I'm going to say Fib. Going to say Fib? Yeah. All right, let's see. And that is a Fib. In fact, doctors at MIT are working on ways to make those antibiotics stronger. Researchers say chemically combining them with peptides improved effectiveness over drug-resistant infections. And scientists say the strategy could be applied to cancer drugs in the future. Hmm. Very all interesting right. today. We did all right. Yeah, we did all right. We did all right. <laughs> well, still to come, are you in the market for a new home? Ever considered a tiny home? We're going to take a look at the real estate trend that's taking downsizing quite literally up next.